The following video profile is courtesy of Jackson's Toyota 181 Maple View Drive West in Barrie, Ontario. Hey folks, this is Riley for Car Clips Canada and today I'm back at Jackson's Toyota and I'm very pleased to bring you this uh, brand new Scion FRS. For those of you who don't know, um, the FRS is uh, kind of a... This vehicle was developed in partnership with uh, Toyota and Subaru. There are a total of three models. Um, there's a vehicle called the Toyota GT86. Subaru's version is the BRZ and the model you see before you is the Scion FRS. So all three vehicles are very similar. And if you're not familiar, uh, the Scion FRS is a North American only model, while Asia and Europe will receive the Subaru BRZ and the Toyota GT86. And this is a really fine example of the more optioned uh, vehicle. Obviously it has sport rims and we'll go into details about everything. So as always, I'll give you guys a tour of the car itself. We'll hop inside, turn on the instruments, I'll give you guys an exhaust clip. I'll tell you some uh, technical data and hopefully you enjoy it. So, let's take a look. At first glance, I mean, this vehicle's orientation is obviously more sport. Um, and if you're not familiar, Scion is kind of a, a brand coined by Toyota. And uh, it's really aimed at a kind of a younger consumer demographic. They're very sporty, very stylish. And as you can see, the dealership has a, a nice arrangement of uh, other, other vehicles made by Scion. We notice the vehicle, um, Again, with its aggressive styling, it does have a very large uh, lower air splitter, almost like an aero kit, and the running boards along the side really kind of capture and match that. You may notice it has, does have a very large uh, ventilated air duct at the front for the intake. The headlights are very sleek, drawn, pointed towards, uh, towards the nose, uh, turn indicators, and the headlamps are high intensity discharge headlamps. This particular Scion FRS is uh, actually owned by the owner of the dealership and he's made a few aftermarket personal touches. These five spoke uh, N key uh, sport rims as well as the ready exhaust are also nice touches. I'll show you guys the uh, standard version of each of those that come on the FRS. And coming around the back here you'll see uh, these LED uh, tail lights, which are again very aggressively styled with the optional sports exhaust which is an upgrade from the, uh, what is standard embedded in the bottom of the air splitter there at the back reverse lights are down low and I'll show you what the standard exhaust looks like as well you may notice on this more standard version um, the car doesn't have uh, a rear uh, spoiler there which is an option on the black car that I'm profiling and there's a good glimpse of the standard exhaust and again, just acknowledging that uh, this more upgraded version does have the, that rear spoiler, which the other standard uh, vehicle that I showed just a minute ago is without. Moving along the side again, very sleek drawn design. So let's take a hop inside and see what that's like. So the key fob itself is uh, also something we're very accustomed to. Uh, standard uh, lock, unlock, the trunk release, as well as the panic button. So we'll try the trunk release first, see what that's like, hold the button down. So of course to lock the vehicle, press lock, and to unlock it, just tap the unlock button at the bottom there. This particular uh, Scion FRS is finished with the uh, high gloss black asphalt with a black leather and black Alcantara interior. And as you can see the red accenting uh, does go in the stitching, two inserts on either side of the shoulder pads there, and red stitching head heading down the side of the uh, seat bolstering. Up inside. Nice uh, brushed aluminum accent on um, the bottom of the door sill. Let's get it started. And the Scion FRS does have turnkey ignition. Put the key in the slot. Let's get it started.
The Scion FRS does come with a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine. Now this engine is naturally aspirated, producing 200 uh, brake horsepower at the crank and 151 foot pounds of torque. For those of you who aren't familiar with what a boxer engine is, um, the engine block layout is a little different from uh, traditional V engine blocks. Uh, the pistons kind of are facing each other, firing, and um, this is really conducive uh, to kind of a design that a uh, Subaru, for, uh, for example, has uh, always put in their vehicles. Another notable um, manufacturer which uses the uh, flat layout is Porsche. The 911 series also uses flat six engines. And this car being developed in conjunction uh, with a, a partnership between Toyota and Subaru, obviously there is uh, some technology shared between the companies. The engine does have direct injection, as well as having a dual overhead cams. And the Boxer engine in its nature is very sporty. Um, 200 horsepower may not seem like a lot, remember out of the box. Uh, a vehicle this light, that is more than enough power. And it's actually, I mean, up and coming, there's going to be a trend of um, enthusiasts who are going to modify this car. Uh, adding forged internals, uh, high pressure turbine superchargers, so there will be some very exciting uh, versions of this vehicle coming out. This, this new Scion FRS does offer 29 miles per gallon city and 43 miles per gallon highway. Um, that is of course with the manual 6 speed transmission. For automatic transmission uh, that uh, figure is reduced a little bit to 34 miles per gallon city and 49 miles per gallon highway and converted for the metric system, those figures do equate to, uh, in this particular six-speed um, Scion, 9.6 liters per 100 kilometers city and 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers highway. For the automatic, again, those figures are reduced a little bit given the you know, heavier nature of an automatic transmission to uh, 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers city and 5.8 liters per 100 kilometers highway. The FRS does have um, rack and pinion power assisted steering providing great feedback. The wheel itself is nicely detailed. There's a solid leather, pinhole leather, and a very uh, thick crisscross uh, embroidery going all the way around, finished in red. Three spoke. As I mentioned, this vehicle is a six-speed manual. Moving up the center console, a couple cup holders, storage bin, with the uh, 12 volt socket right there. And of course it is a six speed. Climate control, uh, different fan directions, as well as the fan speed. Relative uh, temperature settings, four ways. And to acknowledge the style of the door here, there's a large speaker down in the uh, bottom of it right there, right near the footwell. All your controls to uh, automatically change the direction of your um, side view mirrors, automatic windows, and back up. As well as, of course, the ability to uh, lock and unlock the vehicle and the windows as well. Again, nice leather work, nice seam, uh, seam work. Kind of a pinhole effect there, and kind of a brushed pewter finish on the door handle. Moving across the dash, there is a kind of a circular, uh, again, uh, kind of a brushed aluminum finish uh, air, air duct right there. A couple more uh, sleek central ducts in the middle, and a similar uh, circular air duct for the passenger side. Nice carbon fiber finish uh, backsplash there. And again, with uh, most signs, I think this does come standard with the Pioneer audio system, with it, which is fantastic. Uh, Pioneer is certainly considered to be one of the more high-end uh, audio companies. That's a great feature. And of course a nice uh, touch screen here with up to six presets. Volume toggle with the ability of course to turn it off. And this vehicle does come with a Bluetooth interface for a mobile device, as well as an auxiliary port down there for an iPod or other mobile device to uh, play your own music to your liking. Small LED clock. And to fully appreciate the styling of the seat here, 
very sporty in nature. Kind of, it is a sport racing uh, bucket seat. Large uh, shoulder bolstering extensions there, running down. And this vehicle will accommodate four people. Obviously, to accommodate them, you have to move uh, both the driver and passenger seat forward. But those are, you know, a couple of nice bucket seats. So we'll hop back there and see what that's like. Just before we hop into the back here, just acknowledge some of the um, operations of the heat seat itself. It is all mechanical, uh, which is fantastic because it means there's I mean, a less likelihood of anything going wrong. So this lever obviously to lift the uh, elevation of the seat itself. And of course back down. This lever, as I'm sure we're all familiar, will spring forward the uh, back of the seat. To ease access. And of course, to move the whole seat forward, there's a lever down here, which will move it forward moderately. <laughs> so there we are. Obviously, I do have that seat forward. Um, a fair amount to accommodate myself, but I mean it isn't so bad back here. Another speaker on the other side. And kind of a nice piping accent going to the back of each uh, driver and passenger chairs. Another great feature here, there's a very small little uh, quick release for the seat. Just bring it forward to ease access for the passengers in the back to get out. And because this is a sports car, we can't necessarily throw uh, versatility out of the window, so we'll just uh, pop the trunk there. There's a little switch right there, as well as on the key fob, which I demonstrated earlier. There we are. And there is actually uh, more room in here than I expected. Very nice, more than enough to accommodate groceries anyway. Fantastic, held up by two hydraulic gas trucks, as well as a uh, double prong hinge right there. The Scion FRS does have sport tuned suspension, coil springs up front, and leaf spring suspension at the back. The car does come with a limited slip differential, which will certainly improve uh, traction at the rear wheels, keep those from slipping. And just for my final reflection here, guys, um, obviously when uh, the automotive world got wind that there was this uh, joint venture between Toyota and Subaru and enthusiasts got very excited. Uh, it's been a long time since we've had really a proper sports car from Japan uh, with the exception of the uh, Nissan GTR which is uh, substantially more expensive however. As we know the uh, Toyota Supra, Mazda uh, RX-7 and other models have gone by the wayside. Uh, we do have the uh, new NSX in the pipelines but that's still yet to come. And uh, I, for one, I mean, I, I really, I seriously do love this vehicle. I mean, the fuel uh, efficiency is actually great. It's far better than I expected. The vehicle looks good. It sounds great, especially in the specification with those uh, chrome-tipped exhaust and, and these uh, five-spoke sport rims. It does look rather magnificent. That extra spoiler there does add to the flow of the uh, rear contour. The FRS is rear wheel drive only. There's no uh, front wheel drive or all wheel drive uh, witchcraft here. It's rear wheel drive. FRS does stand for front engine, rear drive, and sport. And like I said, it does have a six speed manual transmission. And that's really the spec that you want in this car. I mean, you don't, you don't want to have a car like this with a manual, uh, sorry, rather an automatic transmission. I think that would rather spoil the experience because there's nothing, nothing more fun than just, you know, ripping the old six speed stick. Very enjoyable. And there's far more sensibility to this vehicle, um, as one may assume it at first glance. It is a very viable uh, option compared to maybe an American muscle car. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a real pleasure for me to come in and uh, finally get a glimpse of this vehicle and to do a full tour as well. 
you guys have any questions or comments or you want to take a test drive or maybe look at some of the other models in the Scion range, Jackson's Toyota has a really a fantastic selection. And hope you folks enjoyed it. Take care.